The COVID-19 pandemic really has affected every aspect of how we uh, make music in this organization, in the Marine Band. It certainly affected our ability to make our annual recording, which is a major project that we undertake each and every year. It's usually the full concert band that is recorded uh, for these projects. And this year, COVID-19 just would not allow us to do that. But I didn't want to give up on this really important aspect of our music making. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity for us to record chamber music. We often don't make annual educational recordings of chamber music. Every once in a while, we'll throw in a piece here and there, but never a full album of chamber music. The piece that came to mind immediately when I thought of this opportunity was Mozart's Great Serenade No. 10, The Grand Partita. And so that was the nucleus of this recording that came to be called Serenade after the Serenade Number no. 10. And as part of that project to figure out what else could accompany the Grand Partita, that's a piece that's written for woodwinds and horns and bass. Of course, that's only one aspect of our organization here in the President's Zone. We also have strings and we also have amazing brass and percussion musicians. So I wonder what else we could include in this recording that featured those musicians as well. And one of the pieces that came to mind as well was Willem van Otterloo's Serenade. This serenade is a very different kind of serenade than the Mozart Serenade. It was written in the 20th century, in the 1940s. Uh, it's written for brass instruments and harp and celeste and percussion instruments, so a completely different sound than the Mozart. But I thought that was fantastic because we were gonna have polar opposite aspects of what a serenade could be. You have the classic 19th century outdoor music, entertainment music, type of serenade, although that's not really what Mozart had in mind when he wrote his monumental Grand Partita. And then you have this slightly dark, kind of heroic, brassy, ethereal, colorful serenade from uh, more than a century later. And those could be the bookends of this recording that have the same title. And the last piece of the puzzle was finding something for the strings. There are so many amazing string serenades that come from the 19th and the 20th century and the 18th century as well. But I was looking for something a little bit off the beaten path. I wanted to find something that had not been recorded or performed a lot. And that's how I stumbled on the string serenade of Teresa Carreño, the famous Venezuelan pianist and composer. And this was a piece that had been in obscurity for years. She wrote it in 1895, but it had never been performed that we know of during her lifetime. It was never published. And it lay among her papers in Vassar College. It was discovered a number of years ago in recent history by an organization, an ensemble, who then performed it. And so that's how I came to learn of the piece. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if we could get the original manuscript to this string serenade and make our own edition to include on this recording to feature our strings and bring to light uh, a serenade and another piece that deserves more attention. So we contacted Vassar College. We got the original manuscript back, which was a problematic. Uh, there were a lot of mistakes and corrections that needed to be made, a lot of wrong notes, a lot of inconsistencies in articulations. The piece just simply had never been polished by her before she passed away and she had never published it. So we spent a considerable amount of time going through the piece with a fine tooth comb, trying to get it up to snuff so it could be performed in public. And this recording is a new edition that we have made specifically for the Marine Chamber Orchestra. So those three pieces brought together to make this educational recording of chamber music by the President's Own called Serenade. Three very, very different serenades for three completely different ensembles that together paint a portrait of the entire United States Marine Band and Marine Chamber Orchestra.